Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to treat these hives with oxalic acid. And the reason we do that at this time of year is because most of the mites are actually out and on the bees and not sealed in the brood. And by treating with this, you can actually heavily knock down the mite population. All we do is quite simply drizzle 5 mil of this on each line of bees which is in between two frames and that's normally referred to as a seam. So a seam of bees is the line of the cluster that is clustered between two frames. There's three hives here that we're going to treat. One's a single brood, two are brood and a half and this brood and a half has also got a super of honey above it. So we're actually going to try and take that off at the same time. If you could uh, zoom in a little bit here, you'll probably have to walk over. <laughs> you can see that we're using a 4.5% solution. Um, this stuff's quite readily available online, but you can order it from these people here, uh, the phone number's there. And if you order it through the post, the oxalic acid costs about £4. Uh, if you use a syringe, preferably one that's got a reducer nozzle which makes it easier to drizzle out. Um, they're about £1.50 and together posted is um, postage would be about £2.50 so altogether about £8. If you're only treating one hive you can buy like a little ready treater which comes ready to drizzle with the oxalic acid in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to empty the oxalic acid out into a cup um, using a honey jar would be easier. Then I'm going to have a look and see how many seams that I need to treat in this hive and then I'm simply going to drizzle it in. We have got a smoker here which is lit and ready but we're unlikely to use it. Um, the other tools you would need is um, a hive tool and a torch but we haven't got a torch because we forgot to bring one. Now normally you have the cluster at the top and you don't need to take any frames out at all but I can't see where these bees are whatsoever so I'm going to lift it off the floor slightly to get some light underneath. No, and I couldn't see one because there isn't one in there, so unfortunately that colony has died out. Okay, onto this one now. With the brood and a half it's done slightly differently because normally the bees are in the bottom box, so if they are clustered at the top then you can just treat from the top but have a check and if they're not in the top box then you will need to go into the bottom box simply by tipping the top box up in the same way that you would do in a tip inspection. Okay, they're not in the top box here and I'm not going to tip this because it's actually empty and there's a queen excluder in there as well. So I'm going to remove this excluder and then cover them back over with the board for a minute.
Okay, now I don't know if you caught that, but it looked to me like there was just three seams there, so I'm going to have another look. One, two, three, four. I'm keeping them covered over so as not to excite them. So five mil per seam, four seams is 20 mil. And by getting the right dose into the syringe, it makes it a lot easier when you come to put it in there. You can see that I'm down to 10 mil and I'm halfway through. Nice little squirting noise on the end there. Before I put this roof back on, I'm just going to give this hive a little heft because I couldn't see an awful lot of food in there. So. No, actually that is okay, that's plenty heavy enough. So there we go, there was four seams in there and we gave them 20 mil, so that's five mil per seam. I'm just going to move some of this equipment out of here to give myself a little bit of space. When we're finished, do you want to take this stuff out or do you want to store it back in here? I'll leave it here. Store it here? Yeah. So underneath the crown board here, there's a super with honey in it, so I'm going to take that off for now. It's quite heavy. Okay, there is bees in this super, but it looks like they're coming up to feed and they're not actually clustered in there. So what I'm going to do is split the two boxes and try and check to see if the cluster is actually hanging between the two or whether it's in the, the one underneath. Yeah, they are actually clustered between the two boxes. Right. There's actually seven seams there, so that gives us 35 mil. Um, a lot of the cluster is below, but I don't think it's worth disturbing them too much to try and split and get it in the bottom as well. So I'm going to drizzle it from the top and try and drizzle some of it down past the bees because they're more lightly clustered in the top box and more heavily clustered in the bottom. There we go, 35 mil in there. And that's it, done.